Yes. Um, one of the issues that came up when I was in Sumeria was kind of the conflict between culture and the Islamic faith. Yes. And some people expressed frustration. They, they wanted the culture to become more progressive and advance. And they felt, they said, it, the problem was that the Islamic faith held them down. And others said, no, no, it's not the Islamic faith. It's the strength of the culture that's holding people back. And I just wondered how you would find it. Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a Muslim. I am a Muslim religious leader. And obviously, you would not be surprised if you know that I believe that Islam is a very progressive religion. I don't blame Islam for what's happening in the Muslim world. I believe there is a gap often between Muslims and Islam. And Muslims do not really reflect Islam. Uh, there are many other strangers that, you know, motivate Muslims. For example, in Saudi Arabia, in Saudi Arabia, Muslim women do not drive a car. It is the only Muslim country where women are not uh, allowed to drive a car. The only Muslim country. Now, there are 50, what, 57, 58 57. Muslim countries. The only country that Muslims are not permitted to drive a car is Saudi Arabia. When you ask Saudis, why is that? They tell you because Islam does not permit uh, women to uh, drive a car. Now, are you telling us that all other Muslims are wrong and you are the only you only you are the only pious Muslims. You are the only uh, adherent to your faith. I mean, you're telling me all other Muslims are doing wrong. You are the only one who is who is following Islam. That doesn't, I mean, make sense at all. And uh, uh, why is why women are not permitted? Saudis are ashamed to say that it is our tribal rules, our prejudice. They don't say that. They attribute what they do to Islam. Uh, in some other places, you see women are not allowed to participate in the mosque. And when you ask them why, they cite safety or whatever. But the real issue is a prejudice. But when you go to the history of Islam, during the time of Prophet Muhammad, men and women were, were praying in the same mosque. Men in the front and women in the back. And not, this is not because Islam favors men. It's simply, it's a technical issue here. Because when we pray, we bow, we prostrate. Women don't want to put themselves in a situation where men are behind them, looking at them, they are bowing and, 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 and you know, prostrating.